Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can set up your Nginx reverse proxy on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So, Nginx is an open source software for web serving, reverse proxying, caching, load balancing, media streaming, and much more. But how do you actually set up the Nginx reverse proxy for Azure? So, simply click the link in the description box which contains the link for this Azure marketplace listing of Nginx reverse proxy. From here, what you want to do is that you want to create a virtual machine with this particular image installed inside it. So simply click on the button that says get it now and then click on continue. And then from this page, you can create your virtual machine by clicking on the button that says create. And then you will be taken to this particular page where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have. Either create a resource group or go with an existing one. I'm going to go with cloud infrastructure services. And then you can type in the name for your particular virtual machine. So I'm going to write nginx and then reverse proxy. And then you can choose the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. I'm going to go with the default one which is the closest to me. And then you can actually set the size. So I'm going to go with the default one. You can choose the size to meet your requirements. And then for the authentication type, I'm going to go with the SSH public key. And for the username, I'm going to change it to CIS. And at the last, you want to click on review plus create. Then you would have to wait for the validation process to complete. After the validation has succeeded, simply click on create. Then it would prompt you that you can generate a new key pair. So click on download private key and create resource. They should download the private key for this particular virtual machine on your computer. So store it somewhere safe and wait for the deployment of this virtual machine to complete. Once the deployment is successful, click on go to resource. Then click on connect and then select SSH. From here, simply copy this command which is going to allow us to connect to our virtual machine using the SSH terminal. Copy this command, open up a new PowerShell, type in this command and replace the private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path to the private key, simply type in yes. And then it is going to connect you to the virtual machine using the SSH terminal. Now go back to portal.azure and click on overview. From here, you can see the public IP address of this virtual machine. So copy it, open up a new tab and paste and hit enter. As you can see that our engine X is running on our virtual machine. So what we want to do is that we want to add in some kind of reverse proxy so that we are taken to some other website or to some other server when we visit this particular IP address. So for that, come back to your Windows PowerShell, which is now running the SSH terminal. Head inside the installation for the engine X, which is CD forward slash ATC forward slash engine X. And then from here, what you want to do is that you want to head inside the directory, which is the configuration.d. So cd conf.d. If you type in ls, you can see that there are no current configuration file. So you need to create a new configuration file. So type in sudo nano and then give your configuration file a name. Since I'm going to be redirecting the clients or the users coming to this particular IP address of the virtual machine to something like YouTube. So I'm going to call this proxy as YouTube dot conf which stands for configuration so within this file i'm going to set up my reverse proxy so to start off i need to use the keyword server followed up by a pair of curly brackets and then listen space which by default is port number 80 followed up by a semicolon and then i want to listen to all the default requests that do not include a port number so for that i'm going to type in listen followed up by square brackets and within those square brackets i'm going to put in two columns and then after the square bracket, I'm also going to put another column and then followed up by the port number, which is 80 and then followed up by semicolon. And then I want to type in the IP address of my virtual machines. So for that, I'm going to type in the keyword, which is server underscore name followed up by either the public IP address of our virtual machine. Or if I have a domain associated with that particular IP address, then I want to put that domain over here. But since I do not have a domain, so I'm going to go with the IP address of my virtual machine, which was 20 point. 205.27.238 and then followed up by a semicolon and then I'm going to use the keyword location followed up by a forward slash followed up by a pair of curly brackets and within here I'm going to use the keyword proxy underscore pass followed up by the link where I want to redirect my users or basically the link where a reverse proxy is going to be redirecting to so as I've already told you that I'm going to be redirecting to YouTube just to showcase the reverse proxy and how it works so I'm going to type in the link for youtube.com and at the end, I'm going to put a semicolon. So now I'm going to save my configuration file by pressing control plus O hitting enter and then exiting by pressing control plus X. 
And then I want to test whether my configuration files are working or not. So type in the command sudo followed up by nginx followed up by hyphen t. So as you can see that the configuration file within this folder test is successful. So now the last step that I need to perform is to reload the service of nginx. So I'm going to type in sudo nginx followed up by hyphen s followed up by the keyword reload and hit enter. So now I am done with setting up my reverse proxy. So now if I open up the IP address to my visual machine in a new tab, you can see that I am redirected to youtube.com. But the link as you can see stays the same which is the IP address for my virtual machine. So that is how you set up the nginx reverse proxy on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, then make sure to leave that query in the comment box. And if this video has helped you in any way, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And lastly, make sure to check out the links in the description box for the Azure Marketplace listing and for this particular step-by-step -step guide on how to set up Nginx server on Ubuntu.